Okay, so we're going to talk about trabeculectomy and specifically with application of mitomycin C. As you know, the preparation pre-trabeculectomy is, is very important. Uh, however, th this is looking more specifically at techniques during the operation to try to make it a little bit more predictable and more safe for the patient. So this is the initial corneal traction suture and I like to use a 70 Vicryl and the needle itself is held just lower than you would normally, a bit lower down on the needle so you get a nice flat pass of the needle. Uh, you want the needle to be fairly deep in the cornea, you, you don't want it to be too shallow otherwise the suture will tear out. Uh, you don't want it too deep either otherwise it will go into the anterior chamber and certainly if you get a leak uh, you need to take the suture out and reposition it in another uh, place in the cornea. But once you've got the traction suture in uh, it has to be strong enough to be able to introduct the eye and I tend to use a steri strip attached to the drape and use an artery faucet to actually attach the suture uh, to the uh, steri strip on the drape. Uh, I think your technique would be fairly similar, Pete. Yeah, I think uh, very much so. Um, I think a couple of very important things you, you've said there. I use a 70 black silk on a spatulated needle mm. uh, because the you know the spatulated uh, component of that stops you from going too deep and perforating. And uh, like yourself, for most of glaucoma surgery, the needle is actually held at approximately the halfway point of the needle. It's not held at the, you know, the traditional way you hold a needle for suturing. For example, if you were suturing a, an extracapsular cataract wound. Um, I, I always keep the cornea bone dry at the point at which I put the corneal traction suture in mm -hmm. so that you get you know rapid uh, engagement and just at the point where I have the needle tip going into the cornea just at that point I uh, change the angle of my wrist and fingers so that the needle is relatively vertical just for the very first uh, few moments of the corneal tract and suture then I change the angle of my of my wrist uh, by supinating the wrist and then I kind of walk the traction suture across the cornea, staying within the same lamella, which is the key. And then when I want to come out, I, I actually hold the, um, the heel of the needle, and that will actually bring the tip vertically outwards at the point when you decide to do that. So uh, I think you're absolutely right. Yeah, it's a great technique. If you enjoyed this lecture so far, please subscribe to http colon forward slash forward slash op dot vision. I hope you enjoy this series as much as we have putting it together. Thank you.